Donetsk is the regional capital. Almost a million people used to live in the city, which has been under constant fire since May. In three months, it's suffered at least 128 attacks from the Ukrainian military. Since the government launched what it calls an anti-terror operation in the east, over 800 civilians have been killed in the Donetsk region. Maria Fanoshna is there. We witnessed dramatic escalation of the Ukrainian crisis and the city of Donetsk and Donetsk region see the fiercest clashes. With the shelling continuing, death toll is rising dramatically, unfortunately also including among civilian population. In the last three days, 74 civilians were killed, including children, and more than 100 others were injured. We have to say this is really complicated to count victims, and one of the reasons behind that is that the fighting is undergoing, but we hear from UN Human Human rights watchdog that up to 70 people uh, are killed or injured every day in eastern Ukraine. Many have already fled the cities and this area and actually the country, but those who still remain there are having their everyday struggle to survive. <laughs> Lugansk remains another epicenter of what Kiev calls its anti-terror operation in eastern Ukraine. Severe clashes erupted on the roads connecting Lugansk and Donetsk, these two large cities. And this is Kiev's strategy to separate anti-government fighters from these two uh, big cities. And also we see clashes on the roads uh, leading from Lugansk to the Russian frontier. We are now at the Russian-Ukrainian border and we used to cross into Ukraine and to go to Lugansk to cover the situation on the ground has really hard situation from humanitarian point of view as well and of course from uh, security point of view but uh, recently we cannot do it because it became very dangerous and there's still a wall of silence from Kiev over the whereabouts of missing Russian journalist Andrei Stenin that's despite global calls for his safe release from the UN the EU and rights groups Andre is a renowned photographer who's been covering conflicts all over the world. The hashtag Free Andrew has since been trending on social networks. He's been missing for 10 days, and so far there have been only mixed signals about where he may be. At first, Kiev denied detaining him, but then admitted he's been arrested by security forces, accused of assisting terrorists. <laughs> 